Okay, well, Geneva, Switzerland. If you can even imagine, this place might even be more upscale, more expensive than Zurich, which is pretty intense. You got this uh, fountain over there, which it's hard to even tell how high it's shooting. I mean, I would say probably, I mean, the mast in the boat's got to be about 18 to 20 feet. It's got to be about 100, 130 feet, probably. Then over here, it's got the big mountains. It's a little too close. Some cool architecture all around. Again, this is uh, this is Geneva, which is uh, very close to France. When I got off the uh, train and said, oh, walk this way to France, I thought, what the hell? What country am I in? But uh, anyways, what's this? Am I hearing someone playing the world's smallest violin because you guys aren't ripping it up? Oh no, it's a regular violin. But still, someone's playing it. Hopefully, if anything, these little tours and videos will inspire people to get out, see, and do stuff. It doesn't have to be Europe. I mean, I kind of prefer Asia in a lot of ways. Water's crystal clear. But go out, tear it up. It seems like the layout of the cities are similar between Zurich and uh, Zurich and Geneva in that the base at the base of the lake uh, at the bottom where the river starts, which is over there, the lake is over here. It seems as if that's where they have kind of like major cities. Now I've only been to the two two major cities. There's one more which is the capital I believe is Bern and I'm not sure if it's laid out the same exact way as uh, the same exact way as Geneva but I don't know. I would imagine that it probably will be considering it's um, I don't know. Two, two, the last two cities were laid out identical as far as Big Lake, funnel down to a river, and then you got a river. So, I don't know, here's some dock. Go out and check it out. Probably, probably I'm not supposed to be, but whatever. We're here to show you what's up. Got a party cruiser. Yep, crystal clear water. I mean, America's got clean lakes too. Lake Michigan, with the problem they have with those uh, zebra mussels, is crystal clear, and so is uh, Tahoe. Whoop. Oh boy, I thought I was going to slide in the lake on that one. So here is more of the lake. Kind of goes out that way. I'm sure, those are. Very expensive homes over there. On the other side. This place is very expensive. Just a straight up regular Burger King Whopper fries and a drink is 16 bucks. So like a proper good regular meal is around like 35. And like a really, probably like a really good meal would be like 70 bucks maybe well anyways this is uh, this is Geneva Switzerland nice place but you have to be rich to come here plan on if you're gonna come here and try to really do some shit 
mean, taxis start at eight, nine bucks. After the first hundred meter, after the first hundred yards, or hundred or two hundred yards, you're at ten dollars. So, uh, either be prepared to get your walk on, or I don't know. You really got to come with some cash. I'd say if it's one person, you need at least two fifty a day. Two people, probably about three fifty. Unless you're going to do some fasting and only eat a couple times or something, but... So, here it is. I just wanted to show you guys what it's all about. It's clean, it's nice, it's expensive. That's how I would generally sum it up. I would say in some ways, not to bring up a kind of a nit nitpicky thing, but if you see here, that's all gum and there's a shitload of it. In Singapore, there is no gum. Gum is like having cocaine. It's like contraband. So Singapore might actually be a touch cleaner. You won't find any gum marks in the road because there is none. So hopefully you enjoyed this video of Geneva, Swaziland. This concludes our video tour of the lake down ending to the river. And uh, that's it. Thanks.